The Malayan Pangolin. Hiya! Take that! And that! Ha-ha! My loyal hound hero is here. Oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And now, I'm also a knight. Hero, I need your help defeating this imaginary monster. <coughs> Here, take that, and that, and that. Ah, he's getting away. After it. Whoa, watch your step, Hero. What's that? Be on guard, Hero. It could be a dragon. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Ah! It turned into a ball. How interesting. Let's make another photo and send it to Katie. Katie, are you there? I just sent you two photos of a dragon we found in the garden. Hi, Leo. I received the photos, and that sure is an unusual looking animal. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great, I'm coming right up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. So, is it a dragon I found? Hey, Leo. <laughs> no, you didn't find a dragon. You found a young pangolin. A pangolin? Yes, there are different types of pangolins, but this one is a Malayan pangolin. But it looks just like a dragon. It even has armor, just like the one I'm wearing. Just like your armor, the scales on the pangolin protect it from danger. Pangolins are very shy creatures, so when they're frightened, they curl into a ball and hide. I must have frightened it when I took pictures of it. So, where do pangolins usually live? Pangolins live in Asia and Africa. The one you found comes from Southeast Asia. Adult pangolins like to live alone. But mother pangolins will stay and protect their children until they know how to protect themselves. Then our young pangolin must be lost. We must bring him back home to his mother. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. It looks like we're in the jungle. <coughs> what is it, Hero? <coughs> ah! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hi there, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the jungle. We have to be very quiet. There is a tiger on the prowl. Ah, I see you've brought a young pangolin. Oh, dear. Isn't the tiger one of the pangolin's main predators? That means we need to bring baby pangolin home to his mother fast. Only she can protect him. But where can we find her? While some pangolins live in small underground homes called burrows, the Malayan pangolin is known to sleep in holes in trees called hollows. They also like living close to their favorite food. Malayan pangolins use their thick and strong claws to dig, searching for ants and termites to eat. So, to find baby pangolin's mother, all we have to do is look for a hollow close to insects. That's right, Leo. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. 
here's a hollow in a tree. And on this side is a large cave next to a few trees. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a hollow in a tree. And over there is a cave next to a few trees. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to head towards the hollow because Malay and pangolins live in trees. Let's go. Don't worry, baby pangolin. We'll get you home in no time. Besides, we have Hero to protect us. by curling into a ball and rolling away. Quickly, let's follow it. Oh no, a log is in our way. Uh, it won't move. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Come, Junior Rangers, let's go. Not you, Tiger. Tiger is giving up. Remember to always stay away from these dangerous animals, Junior Rangers. What should we look for now to get the pangolin home? That's simple. Since Malayan pangolins like to eat ants and termites, if you want to find young pangolins home, just look for an ant's nest. Not for a bird's nest or a treasure chest, but look for an ant's nest. I see. So not for a bird's nest or a treasure chest, but, but look, look for, for an ant's nest. nest. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find young pangolins home, you have to look for an ant's nest. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be an ant's nest. Can you see what those are? Hmm, they look like mushrooms. So let's continue. What's that? That's not an ant's nest. That's a beehive. Yikes, better keep looking, hero. Can you see what that is? Those are ants and their nest. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. Look, the ants are leading us to that hollow. We did it. The pangolin found his mom. Yay! Hooray! <laughs> Today, we found a young Malayan pangolin in our garden. We learned that pangolins live underground and in hollows in trees. So we went to the jungle and brought the young pangolin safely home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. The Indian Star Tortoise. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play soccer, Hero. Get the ball. Hey, where can it 
be? I saw the ball going in this direction. Did you find it, Hero? Hey, that's not my football. It's hard and smooth. It looks like a turtle. What a pretty shell you have. I wonder what kind of turtle you are. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mr. Turtle. Hi, Katie. I just sent you a photo of a turtle we found in the garden. Hi, Leo. I like the markings on its shell. But it's not a turtle. It's a tortoise. Turtles live in the sea, while tortoises live on land. Oh, I see. Can you find more information about this tortoise? Of course I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This tortoise is an Indian star tortoise. That's a very suitable name for this animal. The Indian star tortoise comes from India, Sri Lanka, and parts of Pakistan. And, as you have noticed, the Indian star tortoise has star-like markings on its round shell. They look amazing, but what are those markings for? With the star-like markings on its shell, this tortoise can hide very well among grasses or plants. Their hard shells help to protect them, but they are still preyed upon by large birds and reptiles such as snakes. So Indian star tortoises have to hide themselves well from these sharp predators. Indian star tortoises normally live in dry scrub forests or grasslands. They can hide much better there. These places also provide the right kind of food for them, like grasses, flowers, and fallen fruit. Then we have to bring this Indian star tortoise back home, where it can hide and find the right food to eat. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the Scrub Forest. Ah, an Indian star tortoise. It's one of the prettiest tortoises I've ever seen, Ranger Rocky. Apart from its beauty, the Indian star tortoise is also gentle and shy. Unfortunately, the peaceful and nature beauty of Indian star tortoises are also the reasons why people like to keep them as pets. And in many countries, it is illegal to keep Indian star tortoises as pets. Illegal? You mean we're not allowed to keep them as pets? Correct, Leo. Though it's not allowed, there are still people who catch these tortoises and sell them around the world. Indian star tortoises get stressed and cold when they are taken away from their home and sent to other countries. Even if an Indian star tortoise survives the journey, its new home may not be suitable for it. Indian star tortoises do not like damp or cold places. They cannot breathe properly in such places. Poor tortoises! Your tortoise must have escaped from its owner and landed up in your garden somehow. You have to bring it back to a place that is dry and warm. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Let's see what we can find. Here is a bright and sunny grassland. And on this side is a shady swamp. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a bright and sunny grassland. And over there is a shady swamp. So where should we go? There? That's right. 
We need to go to the bright and sunny grassland so that the Indian star tortoise can breathe properly and find food to eat. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's continue on foot. Look, Leo. There is a man over there. What is he doing? Hey, he picked up an Indian star tortoise. Why is he running? Maybe he's an illegal pet trader hunting for Indian star tortoises. So he might take the poor tortoise to another country and sell it. <coughs> Hero, wait for us. Wow, there are so many Indian star tortoises here. I hope they're all right. Don't worry, Leo. A tortoise will protect itself from getting hurt by hiding in its shell. Luckily, these tortoises are unharmed from the fall. Phew, let's put them back into the container carefully. Hmm, now that we have so many tortoises, what should we do with them? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. I see you've rescued many Indian star tortoises. Good job, Junior Rangers. But we don't know where we can find a home for all these tortoises, Ranger Rocky. Natural sunlight is good for the tortoises' shells. It keeps them strong. So if you want to find a home for the tortoises, just look for a dry place with sunlight. Not for a brave night or a pretty kite, but look for a dry place with sunlight. I see. So not for a brave night or a pretty kite, but look for a dry place with sunlight. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a home for the tortoises, you have to look for a dry place with sunlight. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a good home for the tortoises. Is this a dry place with sunlight? No, it's a pond. So let's continue. What is this? It's a cave, so there's no sunlight. Let's keep looking. Is this a dry place with sunlight? It's dry. There is sunlight. And there's even tall grass for the tortoises to hide in. This seems like the perfect home. Great job, Hero. We're coming over. Enjoy the sun and the grass, little ones. We did it. We found a home for the Indian star tortoises. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! an Indian star tortoise in our garden. We learned that Indian star tortoises like to live in dry and warm places and that the star patterns on their shells help them hide in grass. So we found a nice home for the tortoise where it can enjoy the sunlight with other Indian star tortoises. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished! The Eastern Spotted Skunk Hi everybody! My name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. <laughs> I'm playing mini golf. I'm trying to hit the ball with this golf club to get the ball into that hole over there. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Come on, ball, go in. Oh, yes, it's in. Woohoo! Let's get the ball, hero. What? Ah, what's this? 
you brought my golf ball back. Thanks. What animal is this? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. I just sent you a photo of an animal we found in the garden. Hi, Leo. I think it's a skunk. So you and Hero should not disturb it, because a skunk that feels threatened will spray something very smelly at you. Really? We'll be careful. Can you find more information about it? No problem, Leo. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend, but don't frighten it. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an eastern spotted skunk. It can spray a really smelly liquid at predators to scare them off. But the eastern spotted skunk will warn a predator before spraying. How does it warn a predator? First, the skunk stamps its front paws on the ground. If a predator doesn't leave, the skunk will do a handstand. Then it gets back on all four legs, arches its body, and sprays the smelly liquid. It will take about 10 days before the skunk can spray again. Then we'd better be careful with the skunk. Yes, we should, Leo. By the way, eastern spotted skunks live in North American prairies and woodlands. Hmm. We should take the skunk there and find it a good home, or it might get too smelly here. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have an eastern spotted skunk with you today. Yes, Ranger Rocky. It came out of a hole in our garden. It returned my golf ball. Perhaps the skunk thought your golf ball was food. Skunks are scavengers, which means they eat anything they can find. They eat fruit, worms, eggs, leaves, you name it. Their favorite prey, however, are insects and rodents. That is why they can be important for farmers. Eastern spotted skunks eat insects that feed on farmers' crops. They also help farmers get rid of pests, like rats and mice. I didn't know skunks can be so useful. Ranger Rocky, we want to find a suitable home for the skunk. Do you know what we should look for? You should take it to a place with shelter, so a place that protects them from bad weather and danger. Eastern spotted skunks like to live in burrows, tree holes, and hollow logs, and sometimes inside and under buildings. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is an open field, and on this side is a grassy area with trees and hollow logs. Do you know where we should go? Over there is an open field, and over there is a grassy area with trees and hollow logs. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the grassy area with trees and hollow logs because the trees and logs can be shelter for the eastern spotted skunk. Let's go! Ah! My hat! I'll get it back for you, Leo. Thanks, Katie. <coughs> Katie, there's a coyote on your side! <gasps> nice coyote! Get away from my sister! At least 
got away from Katie. <coughs> the skunk! Maybe it can chase the coyote away! Here you go, Leo. Thanks, Katie. And you too, Skunk. So, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. This place may not be safe for the skunk, but a farm could provide food and shelter for it. Farmers like to have skunks around because skunks help get rid of pests. So if you want to find the Eastern Spotted Skunk a home, just look for a small farm. Not for a fire alarm or a good luck charm, but look for a small farm. I see. So not for a fire alarm or a good luck charm, but, but look, look for, for a, a small, small farm. farm. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the Eastern Spotted Skunk a home, you have to look for a small farm. Good luck! <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a small farm. Is that a small farm? Hmm, no, it's a small shed. Let's move on. What's this? It's a house with a nice garden. So definitely not a farm. Let's continue. Is this a small farm? There's a sign. It says, vegetable farm. It's a vegetable farm. This place could be a good home for the skunk. Great job, Hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, skunk. We did it. We found a home for the Eastern Spotted Skunk. Good work, everybody. Yay! <laughs> an eastern spotted skunk in our garden. We learned that skunks spray a very smelly liquid when they feel threatened. We also learned that farmers like to have them around because skunks help get rid of pests. So we found the eastern spotted skunk a new home at a small vegetable farm. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished! <laughs>